Modern gaming certainly has its issues. Games are plagued by microtransactions, content drip feeds, bugs and unfinished products, and just general predatory practices. However, it's important to realize that the games we look back upon with Glee also had their own issues, but we just focus on all the good stuff when we decide to think about them. This year, I will turn 29, and I have been playing games for a majority of my life, at least as far back as I can remember. Everything from the Game Boy to the latest and greatest PC games. Throughout all of these years, gaming has been that outlet for me. A little escape from the mundaneness of life, and also something to get me through those rough times. Making friends, hitting goals, and just experiencing all types of games throughout the years has been a ride. But as I get older, I find the grind of video games less and less appealing. 14 year old me could stare at my TV and play Halo 3 or COD 4 for literally an entire weekend, only taking breaks to eat and sleep. But now, after a few hours, the allure of gaming just isn't there. I constantly find myself asking, were games just better back then, or is this a consequence of getting older? That is a question that I have tried to reflect on this year. Back when I was younger, my responsibilities consisted of simply not failing school and maybe a part-time job. Today there's all the responsibilities that come with being an adult. Don't get me wrong, I still love gaming and video games and that's why I'm still here on a semi-regular basis putting out YouTube videos. But these days it feels like it's harder to just pump hours into a game and get that pure dopamine that I used to get. It's just not there. Bits and pieces can kinda let you relive those feelings, but many times those long grinds on games just lead to me being unhappy. Whether it's at the game itself or simply something else. Nostalgia does some crazy things to your mind. Sit there and think back on your experiences gaming as a kid. I can almost guarantee you will look back on them with glee. For me that peak gaming experience that I always fall back on was grinding Halo 3 matchmaking and custom games. I'd come home from school, throw on Halo 3, and literally play until my mom forced me to get off the game and do homework. Or on weekends until I literally fell asleep while playing. I lived to play Halo 3 at the time. All I wanted to do was get on and grind. During those younger years, not only do you have less responsibilities, allowing you to more freely sink countless hours into the pleasures of gaming, but your mind is also forming. Experiencing these great moments while younger is always going to have a larger impact on you that later experiences are going to struggle to replicate. It really doesn't matter how good or how bad modern gaming is. Because if we're honest, while many of us older folk would say gaming today sucks, I can almost guarantee the kids that grew up in the modern era of gaming look back on some of the games that have come out more recently as these amazing times in their gaming careers. The peak hype of Fortnite, the launch of Valorant, etc, etc, these are the games that kids today will look back on 10 years from now and wish they could experience again. The truth is most people will always look back on their formative years and the experiences they had during them much more fondly than the current times, no matter what the offering is. Oftentimes, because it's much easier to remember the fun times you had back then, ignoring the times where you were frustrated or just not having fun. I fall victim to this on a daily basis when it comes to gaming. I've been chasing the high of Halo 3 for almost a decade now, and really nothing has gotten even close. Was Halo 3 a great game? 100%, it's the go. But I have also set it on a pedestal that has made Halo 3 basically unreachable at this point, regardless of today's offerings. So what do we do to make gaming fun again? That has been the goal now for me this year, and while I definitely still get my enjoyment from gaming, there are many times that I do find myself playing something simply to play it. Well luckily for us, if you want to go back and experience those old games you fell in love with, you might still be able to. If you were a multiplayer gamer, that might be a little bit harder as sometimes servers shut down, but if you're on PC there are oftentimes communities that have popped up to kind of preserve those games if they have the tools able to do it. Unfortunately if the servers are shut down and no one has popped up to preserve the game, you might be out of luck if your favorite game was a multiplayer game, but if your favorite games as a kid were a single player game, well those still work. Whether it's literally popping the game into an old console, or maybe doing a little finagling to get it to work today on PC. For the most part, we can go back and get our nostalgia fix from these older games. But for many, we want new experiences that are going to match those experiences we had back then. And I think this is where we have to realize it's just not going to happen. 
not just because of the state of games today, but rather nothing will match the experiences that we've built up in our minds. I'm not going to sit here and tell you today's games are better than old games, but games now and back then had their pros and cons. But regardless, constantly chasing those highs that you had in the past will lead you to nothing but feeling unfulfilled. Nothing is going to even match those experiences built up in our heads, and accepting this goes a long way for enjoying modern games for what they are. Instead of trying to beat or match those old experiences, it may just be time to try something slightly new. For me, I've always been a competitive multiplayer guy. Grinding ranked in whatever game that had it would hold my attention for thousands of hours. And while I do still enjoy a good ranked grind here and then, it's also important for me to realize sometimes it's just not fun. Maybe being miserable for hours on end isn't worth the shiny icon when I achieve a rank that I've set out to hit. Gaming has such a wide variety of amazing games. We just need to take a step back and be more willing to try out some other things. Whether you're into competitive multiplayer games, and this means checking out more casual multiplayer games or even single player games, just trying to experience new things can go a long way as the depth of variety in gaming today is enormous, especially if you're willing to look past just the AAA offerings. It may be hard to live up to the experiences you had as a kid on whatever your favorite or most childhood defining game was, but that's okay. You don't need to. Accepting the fact that gaming today is different than it was can open up your mind to experiencing new or different things in a more receptive way. Not that we shouldn't fight back against predatory practices in modern games, which you can do by simply not playing the games that upset you, but rather than just hitting your head against a wall on a game or a franchise you no longer enjoy, try some other stuff out or even take a break from gaming. It's always going to be there when you have time or really want to game, but it doesn't always have to be your focus. Gaming is meant to be a fun escape from our everyday reality, not another mundane thing that we do just to fill the time in the day. You might even find gaming more fun as you spend more time doing other things. Even if you don't take a step back from gaming, playing some awesome single player games or maybe a more casual multiplayer game may give you more enjoyment when you hop back onto grind COD ranked or whatever your game of choice is these days. That's going to be the video. Thanks to my one and only Patreon supporter Scan these days. Check out the Patreon if you want to support the channel. And with that said, I will see you all next time.